the aging population in general is increasing in osteoarthritis, which is the most common form of arthritis and which doesn't get a lot of attention in the media, um, is, is probably one of the things that's contributing to that increase. The fact that obesity is certainly an increasing problem in the country, and obesity certainly contributes to a higher risk of osteoarthritis in the knees in particular. That might be one of the reasons that we're seeing this increase. It's sort of a uh, catch-22 or a vicious circle that people run into. If you're in pain, you don't, you aren't physically active. It puts you at risk for other conditions like osteoporosis. It may make you uh, more prone to falling and breaking a bone. If you're overweight because you're not active enough anymore, you're more likely to get diabetes and its complications maybe further aggravating heart disease, and some forms of obesity have been linked to cancer. So I think it really is important for us to recognize arthritis, do what we can, and, and study it better so that we can improve the health of, of people before they get to that point where they're in, uh, sort of a, into a, a level of pain and injury where they can't um, improve that, that level of activity anymore. I think because arthritis is so much so linked to um, other diseases and uh, physical inactivity that can result from arthritis can contribute to other complications like obesity leading to diabetes and further problems with heart disease, I think more attention needs to be drawn to preventing arthritis, understanding the mechanisms that contribute to osteoarthritis in particular, which is so common, and I hope that helps spur our, our research dollars to uh, better understand this condition and prevent it.